In this example, I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate the period of a waveform uh, given the frequency. Okay, so the formula for calculating the period is equal to um, period. We usually use capital letter T to represent period because uh, period will always have units of time and period is equal to 1 over the frequency. A lot of people confuse period and frequency. Again, period has units of time. Frequency is per time, usually per second or hertz are the units for frequency. And in the case of ultrasound, we're usually dealing with frequencies in the megahertz range. Um, and so I'm going to start with an example of uh, one megahertz. And then go on to um, an example of uh, using the six megahertz transducer shown here. So <coughs> if I have a um, I want to calculate the period is equal to one divided by the frequency and uh, substituting in my value for frequency of one megahertz. Now I can rewrite this as 1 times 1 over 1. I can replace the m of megahertz with its metric equivalent. So I have 1 times 10 to the 6th hertz. And I'm also going to take this down to the base unit. So that's 1 over um, and since it's 1 times 10 to the 6th, I could really just write this as 10 to the 6th per second. Now, uh, I'm going to deal with the numeric portion of this uh, computation and the unit portion separately. So if I take um, 1 divided by 10 to the 6th power, I know that can be written as 10 to the minus 6th power. And if it's, it's per second um, in the denominator, again, if I think of that as seconds divided by seconds, it cancels on the denominator, and I have units of seconds left in the numerator. That gives me a unit of 10 to the minus 6 seconds. So 1 megahertz is equal to the 10 to the minus 6 seconds. Now I also can write this using a metric prefix. I know that 10 to the minus 6 is micro is the is the prefix micro. So this would be one microsecond. So the period for a one megahertz transducer is one microsecond. Now it's going to turn out that if I'm given units in megahertz. I'll always be able to, if I just use 1 over those units, my period will come out to be in microseconds. Okay, So let's try another example. I'm going to work through this one. So if I have a, and I'll use a different color here. So if I have a um, if I want to calculate the period of a 6 megahertz transducer. I could put in um, 1 over 6 megahertz and I know that I could write this out as the full number or uh, so I'm going to do this both ways. So first of all, let's look at it, what this is. So I'm going to say this is one sixth, and I know that one over megahertz, one over one megahertz, here, 
is going to be um, one microsecond. So this is one sixth of a microsecond. Okay, now I could have done that the long way, which is to take 1 over f equals 1 over 6 megahertz, which is equal to 1 over 6 times 10 to the minus, uh, 10 to the 6th hertz. And then I can uh, divide this up. Um, so this is equal to 1 sixth times 1 over 10 to the sixth per second. Um, seconds over seconds gives me uh, 1 sixth times um, 10 to the minus 6 seconds. And so that's uh, one sixth of a microsecond, which is 0 0.167 microseconds. So this unit becomes this is micro, and that's one sixth, which on the calculator will be 0 0.167. Okay, so I get the same answer. And this is equal to 0 0.167 microseconds. So uh, if you're given units in megahertz you can use a shorthand and just go directly to units of microseconds when you calculate the period for those units.